Hello and welcome back to the Garnet Sports Show. I'm Victor Brady. Swarthmore had a dynamic weekend on the fields and on the court, bringing back two tournament trophies to Tarbell Pavilion. Let's start with volleyball, where the Garnet hosted the ninth annual Garnet Classic from Tarbell Pavilion. Swarthmore going 4-0 on the weekend with wins against Rutgers Camden, Cabrini, and two against Marymount. El Swarthmore having gone 3-1 against Moravian. Previous weekend, it was defense pacing the Garnet all weekend long. There's Hillary Santana diving play to set up Sullivan for the game winner. Now against Cabrini, it's defense again. This time, setter Ali Coleman who makes the play. And Santana Coleman, Brom Lobachewski, finished it off. And the Garnet was 2-0 on day one. The second day, Swarthmore faced off with Marymount twice. One in the pool play and one for the tournament championship. See Danielle Del Pesce in the middle, getting up high, one of the best verticals in the entire conference. And the game-ending error there from the Saint. Sophomore Danielle Sullivan and junior Ali Coleman were both named to the Garnet Classic All-Tournament team. Senior Jenny Pozzola was named the tournament MVP for the second time in her career. And for her performance, she is this week's Garnet Sports Show Performer of the Week. Women's soccer was also victorious in a tournament, this one from the University of Scranton. On Saturday, the Garnet earned their second consecutive win with a 2-1 victory over Marywood. It was first-year Emma Sindelar with the game winner of her second career goal. Sunday saw a back-and-forth match with the University of Scranton. The teams were scoreless. After regulation, Swarthmore gets the game winner from Emily Coleman in the first overtime to defeat the University of Scranton for the first time in eight ever meetings. The Swarthmore men's soccer team played one game this past week, a 3-0 victory over Arcadia from Clothier Field in a match originally scheduled to be played at Arcadia, but moved to Swarthmore due to a rain-soaked field. Well, the number 8 Garnet came out firing against Arcadia, as we will see David D'Annunzio with his first career assist, the Swarthmore netminder with a long punt down the middle flicked on by David Sterngold. And Michael Stewart was there on the partial break and the finish his first career goal for the freshman. Well, later in the contest, in the final minute, in fact, it was Stewart getting taken down in the box, setting up a penalty kick, and he went low and to the left of the Arcadia keeper for the third and final goal of the match. Swarthmore returned to action on Wednesday, hosting Widener as part of the 320 challenge. The Garnet leads the pride in the challenge 2-1 right now. Women's Tennis opened the fall season by hosting the Swarthmore Invitational over the weekend against Haverford and Stevens Tech. Well, it was sophomore Leah Carlson and freshman Gayatri Iyengar leading the Garnet. They went undefeated on the weekend. Men's and Women's Cross Country hosted the alumni meet, the annual alumni meet, here over the weekend. And for the second consecutive season, both the men's and women's teams were victorious over their alums. Field hockey also had two matches over the past week and what heartbreakers they were. On Wednesday against Richard Stockton, Swarthmore surrendered a 3-1 second half lead, giving up three consecutive goals as Richard Stockton came away with a 4-3 win, sophomore Nia Jones getting denied down the stretch on a great play by the Stockton keeper. Then on Saturday, with a 2-1 lead and no time showing on the clock, the Widener Pride scored off of a penalty corner, get the game winner in overtime after an initial save by sophomore Gabriella Capone as the Garnet fell to 1-2 on the season. Thank you so much for joining us once again on the Garnet Sports Show. For everyone here in the Swarthmore Sports Information Office, I'm Victor Brady, saying so long, we'll see you next time, and go Garnet!